Hello everyone, this is Jizo5 and welcome to the Cobra Max National Toy Review. And today's toy review looking at the 2010 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe Resolute of the Cobra Battle Set, which consists of 7 figures. And today's video is the part 5 review, and we'll be looking at the Resolute Storm Shadow of the Cobra Ninja. Now, first things first, the Resolute Storm Shadow actually did appear in a single carded version, but the problem is it wasn't sold in retail. It was, well, it mostly appeared in eBay actually, but due to Hasbro wanting to focus on the movie line Rise of Cobra, they cancelled the 25th anniversary version, so we never get to see this version, the Resolute Storm Shadow in a single color version anymore, which is a very pity thing actually. Now, I already got in the figure and the rest of the accessories plus the file cut out for packaging, so let's take a look at the file card first. Now it comes with a file card and the top part here is stated as Cobra Ninja, code name Storm Shadow. And this artwork actually appeared in the single card version. Very nice artwork of the Resolute Storm Shadow. Now file name classified, primary military specialty, sabotage, secondary military specialty, intelligence, will place classified. Storm Shadow hungers to be the greatest ninja in the world and the only person standing in his way is Snake Eyes. As a boy in the Arushikage Ninja School, Storm Shadow demanded that his uncle teach him the final steps in the Seven Steps to the Sun, a ninja technique of immense power. But his uncle refused to do so, questioning his nephew's worthiness. Now Storm Shadow has instigated a showdown to prove that he is a greater ninja than Snake Eyes. And by proving that, he will also prove that he was the most favorite student in his uncle's eyes. At the bottom, he quotes, I am the greatest ninja in the world, and I will make sure Snake Eyes knows this with his last breath. Very nice. And the bag is all black. Now, let's take a look at the accessories, especially on the base stand. It comes with an atypical 25th anniversary style of the Kuru base stand. You've got a nice little logo on the top with two pegs for the figures to stand on. Now, at the nameplate, it's stated as Storm Shadow. At the back, it's stated 2007 has been made in China. Now, Storm Shadow comes with two or three weapons. You got two of his signature weapons, his katana and his wakizashi, which is quite very well, simplistic. Now, the problem with this swords is, yes, both swords, is that the figure have a hard time holding it properly. As, it's, as you can see, you can hold it properly, nicely done, right? Yep, too loose. That's the most disappointing part. But the swords can be sheathed onto this sword sheets of his. Now at the back here it's all hollowed out. But from the front it looks well it's not bad looking, nice little details there. Small little details, you've got the pouch that actually holds the two sword sheaves there. And the bottom part here is painted in silver. And the pouch itself is painted in brown, so at least it's not bad. And yes, you can store them quite well. As you can see here, once you store it, you can see the blade is exposed from the back there. There's a peg here for, to pluck it at the back of the figure. Next we have the claw, the third weapon, which he barely actually used this weapon actually. And it's actually not bad, it's not painted at all, it's just pure black plastic and there's a clip here to clip it onto the figure's wrist. And this actually fits well compared to the swords. Next we have, well actually this rope piece here is actually part on the, well, a separate piece to be placed onto the shirt itself like so. But if you want some Shadow to be, well, posed in a fashion that he doesn't want the robes, yes you can, which is a nice touch. The robes is actually nicely detailed too. But I really wish they actually paint this in brown instead of this pure plastic color. It's kind of weird looking. Next we have his shirt. A nice little shirt there and uh, the bottom part is painted in red and mostly just white plastic but the back key portion here is actually you, know, you have a nice little punch there painted in brown and it's quite easy to put this shirt onto the figure removing it you have to pop the head out but putting it on you don't need to remove the head you just put it in it's quite easy and next one is the hood nothing much to talk about the hood it's just a simple hood here there's no clip, there's no buttons, you just, well, the moment you have some shell wearing the shirt, you just pop the hood onto this head and that's it. Now let's take a look at the figure's paint job. Now the figure's paint job mostly is not bad actually. And yes, even the flesh tone skin is actually painted except for, well, the hands. 
the arms and the body is actually painted the eyes the where the eyes are the flesh tone skin there it's also painted the entire mask itself is painted it's actually not bad belt here is also painted in red you got a nice little Irish Kage ninja clan symbol on one side here very nice and the other side is the global logo the pants is also painted the leg leggings as well very nicely done however there are some scratches some red scratches on the back of the tie here but it's still okay overall the figure itself is very nicely done and it's, it doesn't look it doesn't feel cheap compared to the Alley Viper, the Resolute Alley Viper. As I already mentioned before in the Alley Viper's review, that it, most things is not painted at all. But this is mostly painted. It is quite nicely done. Now for the scope of the figure, it's entirely new. But some parts actually share well, the body parts. Similar style of the mold, but with a little bit changes. <clears throat> The head sculpt is actually a new head sculpt which is very nicely done. I really like the head, new head sculpt. But the body, the torso here and the upper bicep shares resemblance to the Rysol Cobra's version of the Arctic Storm Shadow. You notice there's some resemblance there. However, it doesn't come with a scar. And you notice this one is a bit more skinnier and this one is a bit more, well, buffer. You notice. And the lower legs, especially the thigh parts, not the lower legs here, the tie parts here it actually has similar design to the comic pack Storm Shadow but this one is actually we will added details of wrinkles to the pants itself so yes this entire body scope is actually quite new quite surprisingly and it's quite nice actually I really like it let's take a look at the figure's articulation the head actually goes side to side up and down like so and turn 360 degrees the torso here actually turn 360 degrees, go back a little bit, go forward a little bit, and maybe go side to side a little bit. You have to work around with it. Shoulders here can turn 360 degrees and go all the way up like so. Elbow joint here, bend this far and bend backwards and turn 360 degrees. Wrist joint here, turn 360 degrees. Now the hip joints here, go forward, barely able to go back, and go to the sides like this much comes with a double jointed knee that bends this far and ankle joint here can bend down up this far and then turn to 60 degrees very nicely done now we'll be right back as I will equip the figure fully with all his accessories so be right back and we're back after equipping the figure with all the accessories on now the thing about this once after you're equipping the figure with all the accessories is that the hood looks kind of weird as you can see here especially on the bottom part here if you compare to the well the resolute portrait or even at the animation it looks a little bit weird due to the blue portion of the hood itself i really wish they don't have this lower portion or at least they they will make the hood a little bit smaller so it will actually fit much more nicer and you don't have this little part showing so much or maybe it will, they will try to make this a bit thinner rather than this well big but overall the entire figure looks very nice it's painted well I, well at least it's painted at all and the entire body sculpt is actually mostly new some in some sense i really wish that the hands can actually grip to the swords very well but in normal posing style the sword still stays onto the wrist itself so it's still all right and it's actually not bad you can actually hold all the accessories together and can still be posed like so so it's actually not bad among all this is i would say that in all the rest of the pack this is among my favorite ones because this is well done well done and if i'm going to give a rating on this i would say i'll give it a nine out of ten despite that there are some paint scratches on the back of the tire itself and it looks kind of weird with the hood and his wrist can't actually hold the swords well well enough but the entire figure looks really nice so nine out of ten for the resolute storm shadow i thank you all for watching this is lucy's your five and i'm um, signing off